My name is Richard McMunn from the Psychometric Testing website, PassMyJobTest.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to answer pie charts, tables, and graphs, maths test questions. So if you have any kind of maths exam, test, or assessment coming up, or if you are required to undertake a numerical reasoning test, please make sure you watch this tutorial fully from beginning to end, because I promise to help improve your scores dramatically. Now, before I get in to the tutorial, a very warm welcome to this maths and numerical test training presentation. My name is Richard McMahon. That's me there in the center of the screen. I've been helping people for many years now to pass their exams, tests and assessments. And I always do that by working with you through a number of sample questions and getting you to try some yourself. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video and then you won't miss out on any of the weekly training videos I'm uploading. And I would also very much appreciate your support if you gave the video a like. Thank you very much because that tells me you enjoy the content and I will therefore spend more time creating it for you. OK, let's get into those pie charts, tables and graphs test questions. So question number one, I'm going to work through a question and then I'm going to get you to try one yourself under timed conditions. Question number one is a below... Below is a bar chart displaying company sales figures for the first four months of the year. So you can see here the bar chart has a title across the top, the company sales figures in dollars. Across the bottom we have the months, January, February, March and April. And up the side we have the total sales figures in dollars. And the question is what is the average monthly sales totals across the four month period? So how do we tackle this question and find the average monthly sales totals. We need to follow two very simple steps. Step one, add the total sales figures up across the four months. And in this case, it's $4,500 for January, $2,500 for February, $3,000 for March, and then $5,500 for April. And if we add all of those up, then we get $15,500. And to get the average, we follow step two, which is basically to divide the total sales by the number of months. In this case, it's 15,500 divided by four, and the correct answer is $3,875. So very simple. And this kind of bar chart average calculation question is really common during maths exams and numerical reasoning tests. And on that basis, I would like you to have a go on to see whether you can answer it within a strict time condition. So please put your answer to question two in the comments section below the video for marking. Now on each question that I want you to try there is a timer. You can use calculators if you want to and that timer there is 30 seconds in total. So you don't have long to answer the question and if you can answer this in 30 seconds you are doing really well. If you find you need more time please pause the video. It's important that you work through the question correctly. So question two. Below is a bar chart displaying company sales figures for the first six months of the year. What is the average monthly sales totals across the six month period? And you have the time it takes the timer to go to the bottom to put your answer in the comments section below for marking. Here we go. OK, brilliant. Well done. OK, let's now move on to a different kind of maths and numerical test question, which is pie charts. So question number three. Below is a pie chart illustrating the number of pupils studying a course in the following subject areas. So we have law, arts, business, computing, teaching, mechanics and medicine. And then we have the percentages of students who are studying on each of the course. How many of those students are studying either mechanics or law? So we can see here mechanics is 10% of that total and law is 5%. So we need to calculate 15% of 3,620 students to get the answer. So we follow again some simple steps. Step one, calculate how many students equals 1%. Well, if 3,620 is 100%, we divide it by 100 to get 362 
that's 1%. And then all we need to do is multiply that 1% by the combined mechanics and law percentages, which, as we already know, is 15. So 36.2 multiplied by 15 gives us 543 as the correct answer. Very simple when you follow those two steps. So now it's your turn to have a go at a pie chart test question. Please put your answer to question four in the comments section below the video for marking. Again, you have a timer. And the question is, below is a pie chart illustrating the number of pupils studying a course in the following subject areas. If the data is based on 7,300 students, how many of those students are studying either arts, computing or teaching? Here is the timer. Brilliant. Well done. OK, let's now move on to another question. Let's now take a look at a tables maths test question. Question number five. Below is a table of the total staff employed at a company. If there were 550 people employed in total in year four, how many people were employed in the department of sales? So we can see here that in the different years we have the percentage of staff employed in each area, HR, sales, finance, media, distribution, and the total on the right hand side. Now, when we first look at this table, it looks quite confusing. However, we only need a couple of elements from the table to answer this question. We need the total on year four and also the percentage sales employees, which is 30. So to calculate this answer, we follow step one, which is calculate 30% of the total 550. And to do that, is 550 divided by 100 multiplied by 30, and we get the answer 165. So relatively basic process to follow to get to the answer. So now it's your turn to have a go again. Please put your answer to question six in the comments section below the video for marking. There's your timer. The question is, below is a table of the total staff employed at a company. If there were 1,100 people employed in total in year six, how many people were employed in the departments of finance and distribution? Here's a timer. Brilliant. OK, well done. I hope you're enjoying these. I've got plenty more to work through, so please don't go anywhere. And if you are enjoying it, as I say, I very much appreciate it if you gave the video a like. Thank you very much. Let's now go back and take a look at another pie chart maths test question. And this is, below is a pie chart illustrating the percentage of crimes committed in a local area over a 12-month period. Now, the total number of crimes committed during that 12-month period was 400 as indicated here on the top of the pie chart. And the question is, if the number of assaults comes down by 12 the following year, what is the percentage decrease? So we have to calculate percentage decrease, which is not easy unless you follow this process. So we are focusing here on assaults. It's currently at 16%. And we have to find out if it comes down by 12 the following year, what is the percentage decrease? So step one, calculate the number of assaults for the initial 12 month period. So it's 16% of 400. And to calculate that, all we need to do is 400 divided by 100 for the 100% multiplied by 16 and that equals 64. Now to calculate the percentage decrease, all we need to do is use the decrease number, which is 12, because it's come down by 12, divided by 64, which is the total number, multiplied by 100, gives us the answer 18.75%. So if you just take a second to absorb that process, you can then use it to answer the question that's going to come right now. So you have to work out how to calculate the percentage decrease. So now it's your turn to have a go. Please put your answer to question eight in the comments section below the video for marking. 
And your question is, below is a pie chart illustrating the percentage of crimes committed in a local area over a 12-month period. Now, the total number of crimes committed during that period was 200. If vehicle theft numbers come down by 30 the following year, what is the percentage decrease? And you have the time it takes the timer to come down to put your answer in the comments section below. Here we go. Brilliant. Well done. Let's move on now to the next question. And this time we're going to take a look at another tables maths test question. And this is question nine. The following table shows the sales across six countries for a luxury car over a six month period. So we've got January, February, March, April, May, June. The cars are imported to each country from a main dealer. What percentage of the overall sales total was sold in April? So to tackle this question, step one, 189 is what percentage of 1,149? Because all we need here is these two figures, which is the April total figure and the total figure. We need to calculate what 189 is what percentage of 1,149. And to achieve that, all we do is 189 times 100 divided by 1,149. And we use a calculator to get the answer, which is 16.4%. Because the question is what percentage of the overall sales total was sold in April? And the answer is 16.4%. So now it's your turn to have a go. Please put your answer to question 10 in the comments section below the video for marking. So the following table shows the sales across six countries for a luxury car over a six month period. The cars are imported to each country from a main dealer what percentage of the overall sales total was sold in January, February and June? Now, I've not got a timer on this page because of the size of the chart that you need to look at, but I will count to 30 and tell you when that time is up. So what percentage of the overall sales total was sold in January, February and June? Here's your 30 seconds. OK, brilliant. Well done. Let's now take a look at another bar chart maths test question. Question 11. Below is a bar chart displaying the seven day trading profits of an investor. If the weekly total trading profits increase by 10% each week for a four week period, how much profit would the investor have made at the end of that four week period? So you can see here the title of the bar chart is trading profits in dollars for a seven day period, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then up that side, on the left, we have the totals. So to tackle this question, here's what we need to do. Add the trading profits for the seven day period. In this case, it's 800 plus 300 plus 400 plus 600 plus 700 plus 900 plus 1000. And we would get $4,700. Step two, add 10% each week for the four week period. So week one, we have $4,700. Add 10%, which is 470, we would have 5,170 plus 10% of that is 5,687 plus 10% is 6,255 pounds, sorry, dollars and 70. So step three, all we need to do is add all of those totals up and we get the total of 21,812 and 70. 21,812 dollars and 70 cents. OK, so now it's your turn to have a go. Please put your answer to question 12 in the comments section below the video for marking. Below is a bar chart displaying the seven day trading profits of an investor. If the weekly total trading profits decrease by 20% each week for a four week period, 
how much profit would the investor have made at the end of the four week period. So it's decreasing by 20% each week for a four week period. And you have the time it takes the timer to go down to zero to put your answer in the comments section below. Here we go. Brilliant. Well done. And you will notice that I gave you a bit more time because that was um, a more advanced calculation to carry out. So what I would like you to do now is if you click that link in the top right hand corner of the website, sorry, of the video, it takes you through to my website, passmyjobtest.com, and you can gain access to my online numerical reasoning test suite. Now, when you go through to it, and I'll show you in a minute, if you use the coupon code VIP99 at checkout, you can get unlimited lifetime access for literally 99 cents or 99 pence. So it'll take you through to this page. All you need to do is scroll down to the bottom. You can get access to over 500 aptitude test questions. So you can practice more of these on the go, on your smartphone or your computer. So all you do is go to the bottom. It's normally $4.99, but if you click that, and here at the bottom, put in the coupon code. OK, so the coupon code VIP99. Click apply coupon and you can see there that it will drop it right down for you. OK, so don't forget to apply the coupon in there and it will literally drop it down straight to one dollar for you. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget um, to please subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your examination or test. Have a brilliant day.